you know, if we back up the, even 10 years ago, the malware then was like super basic, usually required user interaction, was super poorly written, was like basically looked like, you know, hackers were like, oh, I need to learn how to write malware on Mac and like, you know, amateurs at it. Fast forward to today, the landscape has just drastically changed. So kind of goes without saying, but worth repeating that, you know, gone are the days that Macs don't get malware, right? So I believe it was in 2020, 50% of the new malware targeting Mac OS actually existed already on other platforms, either on Windows or Linux. And what hackers had done was either rewrote that for Mac OS or directly ported it over using cross-platform frameworks. And if we put ourselves in the hacker's shoes, this is a no-brainer, right? They already have command and control infrastructure set up. They already have protocols written, set up for their Windows and Linux payloads. So yeah, if they make a Mac version and get it to run on Mac system, well, they've just vastly increased the number of systems that they can target. If you think of like a ransomware group or adware, right? The more victims you have, the better, right? There's more money, more financial gain. Another interesting trend we've seen is just the increase of sophistication in terms of malware. So again, previously it like sucked. There really isn't a better way to describe that. <laughs> but now it's like impressively good. Now it's not as good as the Windows malware, um, but that begets the question, are we just not detecting the the Windows, uh, sorry, the Mac equivalent of the really sophisticated stuff because maybe our security tools aren't as good. But I really think generally speaking, uh, malware on Mac OS is not that sophisticated compared to Windows, but it's still sophisticated compared to where it was and is pretty decent. Besides the increase of sophistication, we've also seen an increase in the number, number of new samples that are coming out. So, you know, 2018, 2019, there'd be like 10 or 15 new variants. And these are brand new variants. It'd always be kind of like new versions that were released. Uh, and I always, you know, throughout the year, keep like a Google Doc wherever a new one is discovered. I add it to the list. So at the end of the year, I can, you know, dive in, produce this nice report. This year, I'm up to like 25 or 30 already. I'm just like, damn, this report is going to take a lot of time. Um, and like you mentioned, it's, you know, APT groups like the one Jamf, uh, uh, the payload Jamf discovered. It's, um, you know, new adware. It's Lockbit now having Mac OS capabilities. It's really the whole gamut. We're just seeing like Mac being, I don't want to say inundated because Apple security mechanisms are, are pretty solid. Um, and so a lot of the malware still requires some amount of user interaction. But I would say that the inundation is really like hacker's obsession with Mac. Like I would say every hacker group, every APT group now says, hey, we need to have a Mac capability. Again, this is totally unsurprising. Macs are everywhere. Advanced adversaries have incredibly sophisticated capabilities. And so we just need to be aware of that fact so we can hopefully take steps to uh, you know, make it more likely that we perhaps can detect them or that their exploits or their malware might uh, fail to, to begin with.